Their shouting match drew the attention of passers-by, including an old lady, who stepped in and asked Shanice to be respectful to her mother. Enraged by the interference, Shanice pushed Miss Ruby to the ground and kicked her before running away in anger, leaving the elderly woman injured on the street. In a small community in Jamaica, lived a young woman named Shanice. Known for her striking beauty, Shanice also carried a reputation for her arrogance and sharp tongue. Her presence commanded attention, but her attitude drove people away. She believed herself to be above everyone, and she mistreated anyone who crossed her path. Shanice had grown up spoiled and entitled, her father Linton showering her with gifts and indulging her bad behavior. This unbalanced affection led Shanice to believe she was entitled to treat others poorly. Often when strolling around the community with her two best friends, Lena and Tamar, Shanice would mock and make fun of the other girls, believing her beauty was enough to command their submission. One particular girl, Hazel, was a frequent target of Shanice's bullying and abuse. On one fateful day, while Shanice was picking flowers for her hair, she saw Hazel and approached her. When Hazel tried to walk away, Shanice dragged her by her hair, causing Hazel's scalp to bleed. As Hazel attempted to defend herself, she ended up with a black eye. Hazel hurried home and told her parents about the incident. In anger and confusion over why Shanice was tormenting the daughter, Hazel's parents went to Linton's house to confront him. When they arrived, they met Linton, who showed little concern for the damage his daughter had caused. He merely gave them money for Hazel's medical expenses and dismissed the situation, saying that young girls often have disagreements. Hazel's parents warned that if Shanice laid hands on the daughter again, they would have her arrested. After they left, Linton closed the door behind them and did not mention the incident to Shanice. Instead, he continued to shower her with gifts, ignoring the severity of her actions. One fateful day at the bus park, a heated argument erupted between Shanice and her mother Dolores over a misunderstanding. Their shouting match drew the attention of passers-by, including Miss Ruby, who stepped in and asked Shanice to be respectful to her mother. Enraged by the interference, Shanice pushed Miss Ruby to the ground and kicked her before running away in anger, leaving the elderly woman injured on the street. Alicia, who was nearby, rushed over to help Miss Ruby. Dolores, shocked by her daughter's behavior, hurried home to confront her. However, Shanice showed no remorse. Her father Linton, who had always supported Shanice's bad character, dismissed the incident, showing no concern for the elderly woman's well-being. Despite numerous complaints about Shanice's behavior, her father consistently defended her, never holding her accountable. Shanice's two best friends, Lena and Tamar, tried to help her see the error of her ways, but she lashed out at them, accusing them of jealousy and claiming they were beneath her. Eventually, Shanice cut ties with her friends, choosing to isolate herself and continue on her destructive path. Shanice continued her wayward, disrespectful ways, emboldened by her father's unwavering support. She refused to do any house chores, leaving everything for her mother. Whenever her mother tried to scold her, Shanice would run to her father, who always sided with her. Shanice's mother grew increasingly weary of the situation. One evening, during dinner, Shanice's mother decided to make a final plea to her husband and Shanice. She asked for their cooperation and respect, hoping to restore some order in the household. However, Shanice's father insulted his wife in front of the daughter, telling her to stay in her lane and stop harassing Shanice. He even threatened to get another wife if Dolores didn't want to do her duties and house chores anymore. Shanice, with a smug grin, mocked her mother as she cried and left the dining room. Determined and heartbroken, Dolores fetched a small bag she had packed. Before leaving, she made a pronouncement to Shanice, predicting that she would not be favored in life. Dolores, with a voice full of pain and prophecy, stood before Shanice and Linton. She gazed directly at Shanice, her eyes filled with a mix of sorrow and anger, and said, every good thing you desire in life will be taken away from you. You will search for help and won't find any, and on that day, 
you will look for me but you won't find me. One day, Shanice, you will get old, find yourself alone, and be the cause of your own downfall. Turning her gaze to Linton, she continued, and as for you, Linton, you will grow old and weary and alone. The daughter you so adore will abandon you eventually, and you will live with regrets for the remainder of your miserable life. Both Shanice and her father laughed at her, dismissing her words with contempt. They sent her away, mocking her as she left. Dolores departed that night, and it was the last time they ever saw her. One sunny afternoon, as Shanice strolled through the village, she was approached by a young man named David. He was handsome, with a kind smile and an air of confidence. David was new to the community and had stopped to ask Shanice for directions. Excuse me, miss, David said politely. Excuse me, miss, can you show me which road to take to get to the neighboring community? Shanice, intrigued by his charm, gave him the directions with a hint of arrogance. David thanked her and continued on his way. From that day on, Shanice found herself returning to the same spot, hoping to see David again. Days turned into weeks, and Shanice's patience was finally rewarded. She spotted David walking down the same road, and this time, she mustered the courage to strike up a conversation. They talked for hours, sharing stories and laughter. Shanice felt something she had never felt before, a genuine connection. David's life had been filled with challenges. His parents had died in a car accident when he was young, and his grandmother, Miss Ruby, had raised him. She was a wise and loving woman who instilled in him values of respect and kindness. David adored his grandmother and credited her for the person he had become. As time passed, David and Shanice began to see each other regularly. They went on dates, explored the beautiful landscapes of Jamaica, and grew closer with each passing day. Shanice's harsh exterior began to soften, and she found herself caring deeply for David. One day, David decided it was time for Shanice to meet his grandmother, Miss Ruby. He spoke highly of her, describing her as a wise and loving woman who had raised him. Shanice was nervous but excited to make a good impression. When they arrived at Miss Ruby's home, an old, charming house surrounded by lush greenery, Shanice took a deep breath. They knocked on the door, and Miss Ruby greeted them with a warm smile. However, as soon as she saw Shanice, her expression changed to one of shock and anger. No, never, Miss Ruby exclaimed. You can never marry this girl. She is the one that pushed me down on the street, and I injured my head. That was the reason I sent for you to come back home. This girl is rude and wicked. She even hit her own mother. You can never marry her. If it weren't for Alicia rushing to help me and getting me to the hospital, things could have been worse. This girl standing here fled the scene, and no one knew who she was because she wasn't from here. Alicia stayed with me at the hospital until I was released, and she still checks on me daily and helps me with chores since you returned. This girl is not of good character, she is arrogant and proud, and she doesn't respect the elderly. You can't marry this woman, otherwise, your home will have no peace with her in it. David was stunned, and Shanice's heart sank. She realized that her past actions had come back to haunt her. But instead of feeling remorse, Shanice was only surprised that she was caught off guard. Tears welled up in her eyes as she turned to David, trying to plead her case. David, please listen to me, Shanice said, her voice trembling. David, please listen to me, I'm so sorry. I'm not the same person since I met you, and I didn't mean to hurt your grandmother. Please forgive me. Miss Ruby. But Miss Ruby didn't want to hear it. In a loud and frightening tone, Miss Ruby yelled, Get out of my compound, you ill-mannered girl. David was furious at Shanice. He was now understanding why people would always avoid them whenever he went visiting Shanice. Each time he asked, she'd tell him it was nothing. She also lied about her mother being deceased. He could now see through her facade. With his grandmother's words echoed in his mind, and the truth about Shanice's character became painfully clear. He took a deep breath and looked Shanice in the eyes. Shanice, I can't be with you, David said firmly. 
Shanice, I can't be with you. You are not the person I thought you were. Because of your wicked heart, you almost killed the only family I have, and you pretended to be something you're not. You are cruel, and you deserve to be in jail. Maybe you don't value your own parents, but I love my grandmother, and you harmed her and ran away. I can't be with you. Whatever we had ends today. David turned to his grandmother, his heart heavy with disappointment. He knew what he had to do. Grandma, I'm sorry for everything that happened to you, and not being here for you, mostly for bringing Shanice to your home. Let me take you inside so you can rest. Shanice stood there, stunned and speechless, as David and Miss Ruby walked back into the house, leaving her alone. It wasn't until David called the authorities on Shanice for what she had done to his grandmother that she realized the gravity of her actions. She faced the legal consequences, and her once inflated ego was shattered. David, meanwhile, moved on with his life. His grandmother introduced him to Alicia, the young woman who had found her, lying on the side of the street and rushed her to the hospital, after Shanice's attack. Alicia was kind, respectful, and everything David admired in a person. Alicia had grown up in the same community, always helping those in need and volunteering at the local clinic. Her compassion and dedication to others made her well-loved in the village. David was drawn to her genuine nature and her unwavering support for his grandmother. Over time, David and Alicia's friendship blossomed into a deep and abiding love. They shared similar values and dreams for the future. David felt a sense of peace and happiness with Alicia that he had never experienced before. They eventually got married in a beautiful ceremony, surrounded by family and friends. Miss Ruby, now recovering well, was overjoyed to see her grandson with a woman who truly respected and loved him. She gave her blessing wholeheartedly, knowing David had found someone worthy of his love. Since that day, Shanice continued to have failed relationships. Each man she dated eventually broke up with her after discovering that she had beaten her own mother and attacked elderly women. One man, Keith, who was head over heels in love with her, decided to end their relationship upon realizing she was still arrogant and disrespectful. He feared bringing such a woman home to his family, worried that Shanice might assault his own mother or sister. Despite her pleas and begging, Keith's mind was made up, and he ended the relationship. As time went on, Shanice began to lose every good thing in her life. Her behavior caught up with her, resulting in her losing her job at the hospital due to an altercation with a patient. Consumed with anger, she went home and lashed out at her father, blaming him for not raising her right and allowing her to disrespect her own mother. She was now facing the consequences of her actions. Her father, filled with regret, told her he was deeply sorry. He explained that he only wanted her to be happy and well taken care of, as she was his only child. He admitted to turning a blind eye to her bad character, but now saw the damage he had done and felt profound remorse. Realizing the gravity of her mistakes, Shanice wanted to find her mother to apologize, but she didn't know where to look. She had never cared to know where her mother was going after leaving their home that night. The weight of her actions and their impact on her life began to sink in, leaving Shanice to ponder how differently things could have been if she had chosen a path of respect and kindness. Shanice faced a lonely path. She had backstabbed all her friends and cut them off whenever they spoke to her about her behavior. She was left to reflect on her actions and the pain she had caused. Now that she was alone, Shanice tried to reconnect with her friends and some locals, but no one wanted to associate with her. The isolation became unbearable, and she decided to move away, seeking redemption elsewhere. She packed her bags and left without telling her old father anything. He looked for her for days until he was told she had left the community. His heart was broken. At last, he was alone, having lost the daughter for whom he had offended everyone around him in an effort to make her happy. She didn't even care enough to tell him goodbye. Consumed by regret and loneliness, he lived out his remaining days in sorrow until he eventually passed away, leaving behind a legacy of broken relationships and unfulfilled dreams. After moving away, 
Shanice found herself in a new community where no one knew her past. In this fresh start, she began to reflect deeply on her actions and their consequences. The loneliness she experienced forced her to confront the harsh reality of her behavior. She realized that her arrogance and disrespect had cost her dearly, her relationships, her job, and most tragically, the love and presence of her mother and father. Determined to change, Shani sought therapy and started volunteering at a local shelter, hoping to make amends for her past by helping others. Through these efforts, she slowly began to understand the importance of humility, kindness, and respect. She learned that true happiness comes from treating others with compassion and empathy, not from exerting power or control over them. Though the damage she had caused was irreversible, Shanice decided to turn over a new leaf. She dedicated herself to being a better person, even if it was too late to mend some of the relationships she had destroyed. She never stopped searching for her mother, hoping one day to apologize and seek forgiveness. Shanice's journey taught her that while she couldn't change the past, she could influence her future by making positive choices. The path to redemption was long and challenging, but it gave her life new meaning and purpose. She finally understood the profound impact of her actions and vowed never to repeat her past mistakes. The story of Shanice teaches that misguided parenting, arrogance, and disrespect for others, especially the elderly, can have severe consequences. Shanice's father's failure to discipline her led to her sense of entitlement and inability to form healthy relationships. Her disrespect towards the elderly and loss of important connections highlight the importance of nurturing empathy and respect. The story underscores that balancing material comfort with character development is essential, as neglecting these values can lead to isolation and regret. Shanice's eventual quest for redemption illustrates the potential for change, though the damage has been done. Did you enjoy this story? If so, please like this video. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified each time there's a new upload. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next video.